All right, howdy there, fellow Shadow Priest. Long time um, no see. Is that what the saying is? Long time no YouTube video upload. Long time no PvP. Well, I haven't really been playing uh, Shadow Priest, and I think most people that play Shadow Priest can probably see where I'm coming from. But if you're wondering, like, hey man, what's going on? Where's the YouTube content? Well, uh, here it is. It's back. It's here now, and this is where the PvP is at because we do have some changes to discuss and also kind of reflect on the depressing state of the game right now um and i thought you know what better to to reflect upon than the the tournament itself and then watching uh some of the gameplay today so <laughs> the title of my stream is what is blizzard smoking and it is just, it is unreal to see like the state of the game and it was cool, like, yeah, you, you watch the ADBC and you're like, oh, wow, a Shadow Priest is playing? Like, this is awesome. And you see Valet come out here and he, like, 3 0s the series. And um, then he's playing multiple comps. He's playing Shadow Play. He's playing RPS. Uh, it's all going well for him and it's going great. And then you get into this first match and it's just, like, absolutely hilarious. Like, here, here's the first match where it's a uh, Fist Weaver, Ret Warrior. And this team has just been running all over hitting random targets uh it doesn't really matter what they're doing and they're just randomly one-shotting people you see valet trying to get off the void torrent and the mind games unable to really do any damage at all with the warrior only on him and now he has all three right so now it's the fist weaver and the brett and the warrior and he's forced into a dispersion not able to really put out any damage because this paladin is going to be spam dispelling himself um the frost mage does get to nuke from the backfield but still with the fist weaver healing um uh, it's really not enough there we go, tries to get the mind games off, interrupted, and this is like one of the best Shadow Priests in the world and just always on top of the game. He's out there trying to make it work and it just doesn't look great. Like this doesn't look great. A little bit of a Void Torrent off. Um, trying to cast here, keep in mind this is while we still have access to Damnation and Void Origin. So he, he goes ahead and life swaps the Druid here and then through all healing is just gonna get completely like ran down here and annihilated the mage is trying his best to peel they're swapping around it doesn't really matter what this team is doing um and they're just able to completely out pressure this team and just destroy them it's just so sad like obviously that game they killed the mage but in, in other matchups you will see the shadow priest just kind of get tunneled down and there's not a lot they can uh do so they tried an rmd one game they go back to the shadow priest for, uh, I believe they tried um, Demo S-Play. And you can see the Fist Weaver is just going to tunnel down Belay. Unable to really do a lot of damage. He's going to deal with three interrupts. Um, we're not going to have access to Damnation or Void Origins. You'll see him die through Death Repair and Life Swap. And it's just, yeah, it's just not enough, man. It's so sad. So there's a Life Swap on the Druid. And he's going to die five seconds later. Just absolutely getting brutalized by three, like, NPCs. I mean, these are amazing players. Swap, uh, swap C and... Blizzo, obviously, like BlizzCon competitors for decades, but um, just kind of disheartening to, to watch that play out in the AWC where it's like one class doesn't even have a chance against like a certain healer or DPS. You just don't have um, much going on for you there. So I am starting to play a demo lock. Um, I'll be playing that until the changes come out. So speaking of the changes, I'm on the PTR right here. We got some weird things going on. Um, the first thing that you'll notice, yeah, is you don't have Void Origins anymore, and you also have a, a PvP talent called Absolute Faith, which is going to pull the spirit of the three furthest allies within 40 yards, shields you and the affected allies for 70k, so they, like, changed that from a spear link, and now it's just a shield, I guess. Um, kind of a weird thing. Like, I feel like people complain about Esperis for their utility, and I feel like they're giving us more utility. I do like this phase shift idea. This is kind of like getting greater fade um stepping into the shadows when you cast fade avoiding all attacks and spells for a second so before that was like a less lesser it was like a 0.5 seconds and um yeah now we're just it seems like a greater fade for one second you can maybe use this to avoid cc or like incoming chaos build stuff like that um yeah so that one's fun i guess in terms of pvp talents pretty much um all that has changed Looks like they finally got rid of Delivered from Evil, which I guess is a substitute for that. Um, no more Void Origins, so we're going to have to probably rock Catharsis all the time. Um, that phase shift for sure will be fun, and then depending on the spec you play, that'll um, you know, determine that third talent. But I feel like Siphene is also a good lock, so play those. Um, looking down here, if you play Mind Spike, it replaces Mind Play, which kind of makes sense because 
Mind Flay really was a useless keybind before, and now they're kind of getting rid of it for you, so that's kind of nice. I haven't really poked around with too much on Arena on the PTR just because it's kind of hard to find people to play with, but they did buff, um, they, or rather they changed this Idol of Yoxeron. And I think they also buffed like the Void Tendrils thing somewhere. Um, everything is just really weird now. We have Void Touch, which increases your Devouring Plague damage by 6%, increases your maximum insanity by 50. So you'll be able to kind of pull up, you know, three DPs and, and do a ton of damage with that. Um, also having the option to go down into a different talent here, which is reducing the insanity cost of Darwin Plague by 5, or you can increase the damage of DP by 20%, but it deals the damage over 12 seconds, which I feel like might not be as worth it because the, the game is so fast-paced and you know people can dispel stuff like that, and it's also increasing the insanity cost, so I, I think that this one personally might be a little bit better. Distorted uh, Reality got hugely buffed. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Screams of the Void is now Devouring Plague. It causes your Shadow Word Pain and VT to deal damage 80% faster. So instead of um, having to Mind Flay, you get that from Devouring Plague, which I feel like is going to be a pretty hard lock. Um, reducing the emphasis on Mind Blast, I feel like we might not go into the Inescapable Torment and rather we'll, we'll take a Idol of Seath Cthun right here. I think this might be better. I feel like that got nerfed on the PTR, which means it was good, so we'll see. Uh, I might play something similar to this. Obviously, everything's up in the air. I haven't even done Arena, but I'm just kind of poking around, looking at the talents. Uh, Mind Devourer is still going to be great. Void Form, I think, is still going to be the play overall. Um, I, I don't know about this Mind Spike talent. It didn't seem to be hitting super hard before. I'm still in my shuffle queue. Make sure this doesn't pop. Looking at... Uh, yeah, so let's look at the actual changes himself because we can actually read all this stuff here. And Blizzard's thought process on PvP here. In Dragonflight, Shadow has had access to more instant cast spells through procs and cooldowns than ever before. Oh my god, the, uh, the damage is unlimited. Because it was difficult to prevent Shadow Priest from scoring kills, we reduced their damage in Season 1 by like a shit ton, like way more than they nerfed Red Paladin solo. We've removed some of the problematic procs. Oh my god, those Mind Spike procs were owning. And cooldowns moving to 10.1, so there's more counterplay to Shadow's offense. Dude, who is struggling against a Shadow Priest offense right now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> who is struggling to survive? Like, I feel like I'm always, like, the last damage uh, in the day of the Red Paladins, but... This allows us to ease up on some of the damage nerfs to the spec. Thank god. So they're reverting some of the damage nerfs, which is going to be great. Um... Mind, mind Seer, Dark Void, Coalescing Shadows, Puppet Master, Harness Shadows, Pain of Death, and Surgery Darkness Damnation have been removed. So no more um, Pain of Death, but you will get um, access to the Death Speaker still, which is going to have a built-in Pain of Death, like 25% increased damage, which I feel like is definitely awesome that they did that because it felt like bad taking this talent without the other one, and, and now they're kind of like, you know, getting that out of the way for you. So shout out to Blizzard, I feel like that was one good change. Um, I'm gonna actually axe this guy. I will display. Haha. <laughs> Shadow Insight no longer passively grants an additional charge of Mind Blast. So we built the talent into that on the PTR. Um, you can see it's right under the dispersion, and you kind of want to get the Shadow Crash, so I feel like you just take that no matter what. Shadow Crash, uh, slowly moving sh Shadow Energy, blah, 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 and then use talent into the applying uh, VT which is nice because you don't remember you don't have damnation you still can get unfurling darkness but you will have to you know free cast that uh vampiric touch to get that off we'll have precog baseline but let's keep going here psychic link now affects devouring plague and shadow word death this is huge because we're kind of seeing them put a little bit more emphasis on devouring plague on those extra talents with the increased insanity and uh, increased damage, obviously ramping the other dots and all that stuff. Cycling Link is now a one-point talent, and now the one-point talent is, instead of being 60%, I believe it's 40% on Psychic Link. Let me see what that looks like. Where is Psychic Link? Oh, man, where did they move it? Here it is. Uh, yeah, 40% instead of 60%. So let's go back to what else we have. We're working with Cycling has been removed. Yep, I could have just read that right there. Auspicious Spirits now causes Shadowy Apparations to uh, have a chance to generate two Insanity instead of always generating one. Whatever. Maddening Touch now increases the damage of Vampiric Touch by 10 or 20%. Whoa, I like that. And has a chance to generate um, one to two Insanity. So Maddening Touch 
you can find that one uh, right here. I feel like we do want to take that, so... Uh, yeah, I might get rid of this shit and just take that. Yeah, I, I think that's new. I didn't see that when I was on the other day. Void Torrent generates 24 insanity was 60. That's kind of bullshit, if you ask me. I feel like we don't have damnation. It's hard. It's going to be hard to get DPs out. Hard to generate insanity. Hard to cast. Shadow, they're nerfing a lot of our insanity generation, too. <clears throat> Mind Devour now is a 4 to 8% chance. Was 10 to do. That's so bad. I hate that they're doing that. Mind Devour now increases the damage of your next starring plague. Okay, fine. Cool. Mind Melt no longer reduces the cast of Mind Blast. Yeah, like I don't think we're going to be playing the Mind Spike thing anyways. Cthune now can trigger for Mind Spike and Void Torrent damage. That might be good. I don't know. We'll test all this shit out. They're, they're really doing a heavy rework. I mean, there's so many bullet points here. And it wouldn't be surprising to me if like one of these things were bugged out. Uh, Overall, like the damage is looking better, but... When we watch what we just saw in the Arena World Championship of the Shadow Priest just getting tunneled down by three just Mongo melee not being able to cast, like he already has access to those instant cast spells with Damnation, with Void Origins, and he's still here just unable to get any pressure out. The whole team's at 100% the whole time. He life swaps the healer and then goes down, and it's just a sad sight to see the Druid not even CC'd, can't heal through the damage. Shadow Priest can't kite, Shadow Priest can't do damage. Um, I, I just don't see how like a heavy casting build is going to be beneficial to Shadow Priest. When you look at the the class representation and how Shadow Priest um, relate to that right now. Let me see. I know someone just sent this to me. We'll check this out from uh, Hot Dad 78 Discord. In the last uh, roughly 4 point, I guess 4,000 games played in the last 24 hours, Approximate games played by spec. So let's just take a look at the top casters, right? You have Demo Lock coming in pretty heavy at uh, 2.6k. Destro, semi-popular. Um, Ellie, not super popular, 269. So we're slightly above Ellie. Rip Paladin at 7.3 thousand. That's insane. Um, Mage, not even seeing fire on the boards. Barely arcane. Frost Mage is up there. So we're, we're above Frost Mages, and we're slightly above Ellie's, but we're below Warlock's pretty heavy. Um, we're not going to be able to compete with the damage of these classes. Even Boomkin, I feel like, does seem to do more damage than Shadow Priest right now. Um, man, it, it is pretty rough. I, I don't see the direction that they're going in. doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I feel like it might be better than what we're doing right now. Um, but it's just, yeah, the damage just doesn't make sense to me. Like more talents mastermind increases the critical strike chance of mind blast mind flay and mind spike two to four percent increases their critical strike damage by 25 percent we're not really like value and crit a lot is shadow priest although you do get that ancient madness crit buff which is nice um yeah this just doesn't look great getting a couple uh questions in stream what do you expect Prev will do? Now, do you think he's is he going to really play Shadow Priest at all in the AWC? It's not worth it if there's a team that has a Red Paladin and like a Fist Weaver. It's nice if there's casters, you can play Shadow Priest and like melee DPS, whatever, that's fine. But yeah, if you're... The, it doesn't make sense to throw the game by playing Shadow Priest um, in AWC. So those are roughly my thoughts on like what's going on. I know I didn't cover all the changes super well, but I know I just wanted to upload a video and be like, hey, what's up, I still exist. And you can't blame me for not wanting to play because it's just depressing playing Shadow. So I've been playing Disc on like Shuffle and uh, just made this Warlock. So hopefully I'll be able to play that and get some content going in that regard. But otherwise look forward to more videos and uh, that was PPP, man. Cool, see you in the next video.